In today's video, we're going to teach you how to play the 42nd Highlanders. Stay tuned. Well, hello everybody, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper, and on this channel I make videos to make you a stronger and more confident piper. If you like this kind of content, please think about giving the video a like, subscribing to the channel, and clicking that bell icon to be notified of when I post new videos. I also teach Skype and online lessons if you want more personalized instruction, but more on that later. In the description below, there's a link to the PDF document I have here, so go ahead, print that out, have it on a tablet, put it in front of you so you can follow along. Ah, the 42nd Highlanders. Fantastic tune, classic melody, and a few new things in this that we have not uh, tackled before, but uh, we'll be dealing with today. The first of those is the Taralua, and there was a video recently, and there is a link up here to that video. But the Taralua is kind of a fancy grip, if you will. So in this case, we're going to be on an A, head down to a low G, separate that G with a D grace note, and up to A with an E grace note. So that's going to be at the top of the tune here, but we're also going to have the B strike, and we're going to be also using high A's to kind of create a little bit of separation where there otherwise wouldn't be. So let's just dive right in to phrase one, question. So as I already started talking about in phrase one question, we'll do a G grace note to A, we'll head down to a Tarlow, which is a low G, separated by a D grace note to a second low G, E grace note up to A, and that's all going to come before the beat. Da, 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 bum, da, da, da. Then after the Tarlua, we'll go up with a quick B. We'll see that the A after the Tarlua is pointed, so it's a nice long A after the Tarlua. Quick B into a C doubling, which is going to be a G grace note on C, D grace note on C, then an E grace note down to a B, G grace note up to C again, and then up to an E without anything. Fairly straightforward, with maybe the exception of that new Tarlua right there. Let's give it a go. And right now, I wouldn't worry about a metronome. We'll be using one shortly, so don't worry about that. But for now, just try to get the approximate rhythm. And again, that is the long notes being long, the short notes being short, and everything else being, well, somewhere in between. Phrase one question. Now, on to phrase one answer. In phrase one answer, you can see it starts with another A to a Tar Lua, so you get plenty of practice on your Tar Luas here. And then we're going to jump right up to an F. So yeah, kind of a big jump, a sixth, if you will, in musical terms there from A to that F. Then down to an E doubling, which is going to be a G grace note to E, F grace note on E, which is the middle finger right there, to a C, and then another new embellishment, the B strike. And again, there's a video right up there discussing the B strike and how to play it. But again, from here, we'll be on C, do a G grace note to B, and then tap a low G to hear a second B. Now let's put that whole phrase one answer together. Again, with that Tarlua coming before the beat, the A after the Tarlua having some length to it, short F into a crispy E doubling, a C, and then that B strike. Now, let's go ahead, get a metronome going, and try phrase one question and answer together. And we're going to put the metronome on 60 beats per minute. And you can see over here the structure of the tune where we're going to repeat phrase one question again, but instead of going to the phrase one answer, we're going to go to the ending phrase or the final answer, if you will, in this tune. And this is quite cool because we're going to use these high A's to kind of create a bit of separation on the notes. When you play the Highland Pipes, the high A is the quietest note of the scale, and it's also an A, which is the same note as the drones. So you can kind of use these high A's on the Highland Pipes in particular to create a bit of separation or almost a staccato feel. Bum, bum, da dum da da Now in this case, because we're on a practice channel and in a bit we'll be on our practice pipes, you are going to hear those A's. The high A on a practice channel is quite a loud note. It might actually be the loudest note on a practice channel. So 
Again, the volume balance between a practice channer and a pipe channer on your full pipes are going to be different. So let's talk about this ending phrase. Be a G grace note to F, high A, doubling, which is gonna be a sweep of the thumb as soon as we land on that high A. Then down to an E, then another high A with a sweep, and then down to a half C doubling. Not my favorite name, but it is what it is. There is no G grace note leading you into the C doubling because from high A to C, you can't put a G grace note. So we're gonna go just from high A to that C, tap out a D grace note, and then in this case, we're gonna do an E grace note to a B, and instead of a full strike with a G grace note and a tap, this time it'll just be a tap between the B and another B using that low G. Let's give it a go. So let's try now the second line of this part, which is going to be phrase one question and then the final answer. Now let's try the entire first part here, which is going to be again phrase one question, phrase one answer, phrase one question, and then the final answer. And there's the first part of the 40 second Highlanders. You would of course play that with the repeat, but with that, we're ready to move on to phrase two. So the phrase two question is gonna start here with the C doubling up to an E. We're gonna tap a quick low A, which again is just lowering that one finger. These are already down in a low A position, taking you to a second E, and then a fun little run here. We're gonna from E do a G grace note to F, high G, and a high A. Da -da 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 -da. And then from that high A, you'll go down to an E. Make sure you avoid that cross right there. Get that finger out of the way just in the nick of time so you don't hear a little low A between those. High to E, up to an F doubling, which is just two G grace notes on F. So from E, G grace note to F, another grace note on F, and down to an E. Let's give it a try. da 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 ba ba da 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 The phrase two answer starts exactly the same as the phrase two question. Ba -da -bum 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 -ba -da. But from that high A, now you'll go down to a C and then that B strike, just like we did in the phrase one answer. Now, let's get this metronome on. 60 beats per minute. Now let's try phrase two question and answer. And then for the next line, it's gonna be the phrase two question yet again, same as we had just done. And then the final answer, which was the same as it was in part one. There's only five different phrases and some of them are quite related to each other. So fairly straightforward tune to learn. Let's try all of now part two with this metronome. When you can play all these phrases good, clean, accurately, and well, it's time to get it on your practice pipes.
And again, as I did for the round tree recently, I am not giving out the full sheet music to this tune. I think the structure is easy enough and the phrases are already spelled out right here musically. So learn the phrases individually, put them together in your head. Learn this tune without having to stare at the lines of music. I think you're gonna find it way quicker to memorize this way. Well, there you go, everybody. The 40 second Highlanders incorporating tar luas, B strikes, and some new and exciting things with high A that will be used in a lot of future tunes to kind of start separating out notes in yet a different way than we've done already. Well, thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you got something out of the video, please think about giving it a like, subscribing to the channel, and commenting below with any thoughts you might have. I also have a Patreon where as little as a dollar a month goes a really long way to helping support the channel. And a special shout out to Miss Carrie Tresek, my number one supporter, but you'll see names now of folks scrolling up. These are folks that contribute monthly to the channel. I'd love to add your name to this list. You get early access to videos and other perks, so check out my Patreon. I also teach Skype and online lessons. Go ahead and head over to www.commandyourbagpipe.com or email me at the address you see down here and we'll get you going. I'm working with folks from all over the planet and I hope to work with you soon. I also have a line of Command Your Bagpipe merchandise like this lovely hoodie I'm wearing right here, but there's also hats and t-shirts and mugs and other things. So go check out my merch and let the world know that you command your bagpipe. Well, thank you all so much again for watching. I'm Matt Willis and until next time, cheers. <laughs>